We are at Vitality, and this is workout announcement number two. This announcement is actually the first workout of our day. It's going to be a EMOM with you and your partner, and it's going to have a 24 minute cap on it. This is what it's going to look like. The first eight minutes, four rounds for you, four rounds for your partner, are going to be nine calories for my men on the bike, seven calories for my women on the bike and 185 and 105 for a complex. That complex is a power clean into a touch and go squat clean into a front squat. And we'll show that a little bit later what, that's, what that looks like and the standards for that. So what this, how this is gonna flow. Minute one, partner one is gonna go and he's gonna do nine calories on the bike or seven if it's a female, and he will do a complex at 185. He has the entire minute to get through the calories on the bike and the complex. As long as he finishes within that minute, the next minute his partner would then complete nine calories on the bike, 185 pound complex. That's now two minutes in. You're gonna do that same rotation for eight minutes. When you finish eight rounds, or four rounds for your partner, four rounds for partner two, you then would change your load. Your partner can change the load, you both can change the load, it does not matter. You can change the loading before the next minute starts, it doesn't matter. You can change that loading however you want when you complete your eighth round, all right? Now, at the eight minute mark, the flow stays the same, that first partner goes, but now it's 11 calories in the bike for men, eight calories in the bike for ladies, 205 and 115 is our loading for the complex. Complex stays the same. We do that for eight more minutes or four rounds each, partner one, partner two. At the 16 minute mark, we would change loading again and we'd go to 225 for my men, 135 for my ladies, and the bike is 13 and nine. All right, you complete eight more minutes of that. Now, 24 minute cap, that means at the end of our 24th round, whoever finishes that round, whoever's the, the final partner to go, he would do over the bar burpees, or she would do over the bar burpees with whatever time is left in that minute, okay? So let's say me and my partner, uh, I'm the last one to go, I start minute 23 to 24, I do 13 calories on the bike, I do my complex, if I have 10 seconds left, I would do as many over the bar burpees as possible and my score would then be 24 completed rounds plus the number of burpees that I got. Okay, so now let's talk about what happens if we're not able to get through 24 rounds. Let's say at uh, the 15 minute mark, my last round of the middle 205 and 115, uh, the 15 to 16, I'm going, I complete my 11 calories in the bike, I am unable to complete this complex at 205. I have two options. I can immediately do over the bar burpees for the, for the rest of that minute, and our workout ends at the end of that minute. Or I can tag my partner, my partner can then come in and complete that complex. But once my partner comes in and we break our order, I am no longer able to continue in this EMOM, okay? So my partner comes in, he does 205 for the complex, he does it within the minute, all right? Now I've finished this second piece, I've finished 16 rounds, I am the only one that can continue moving forward. So I would finish my complex, my partner could help me change the weight to 225, but my partner cannot partake in or participate in the workout anymore. So the 16 minute mark, I would be on my own. I do my 13 calorie bike. If I do my complex, great. I rest the remainder of that minute, and then I am back doing 13 calories in the complex again until I fail, okay? If I complete the 13 calories in the bike, I can't complete my complex, I could then do my over the bar burpees as a tiebreaker, okay? So again, it's gonna alternate between you and your partner. Partner one is gonna go from zero to one minute, partner two is gonna go from one minute to two minutes, and you're gonna cycle back and forth. It does not matter how quick you get the work done inside that minute, 
You just have to be done in the minute. Your partner can be on the bike, reset, and ready to go as soon as the minute starts. So as, as I am doing my complex, my partner can be on the bike. As long as I finish the complex within that minute, my partner then begins on the bike. The scoring for this, the scoring for this is gonna be rounds completed plus partial reps or partial reps and burpees. So for example, in the example I gave, let's say I made it to the 15 minute mark. I was unable to complete that complex. I know that my partner would not be able to complete that complex either. So at that point, I finished 14 full rounds. I got 11 calories, plus I got five burpee, over the bar burpees. That would be the score. There would be uh, 14 plus 11 plus my burpees, and that would, that's gonna delineate the scoring for that workout. And we'll post in the, the comment section of this a breakdown, uh, but all you need to know is if you do, if you change out your partner, if I am unable to complete the complex, once that happens and my partner comes in, I move out and I am no longer able to participate in this workout. I can help change weights, but I cannot participate in this workout. Okay, so loading, you're gonna be in your specific station and you'll have all of your weights that you need to make it through the entire ladder. So at the end of minute eight, if you finish 10 seconds before, your partner could change weights while I'm on the bike and you'll have those weights available to go from 185 to 205 or 105 to 115. You'll be responsible for making sure you put the correct weights on there uh, and you'll be responsible for resetting your bike every time. All right, so the only change for scale is the loading on the complex. The calories in the bike and the flow are gonna stay exactly the same. 9, 7, 11, 8, 13, 9. Bike calories stay the same. The loading, 135, 85 for my first eight minutes, 155, 95 for my second eight minutes, 185, 115 for my third and final eight minute window. Same uh, partial rounds, same scoring, same everything. Uh, we're just changing the loading. All right, so everybody gets to play and have the same amount of fun on the bike. The bar will just be a little bit lighter. All right, so what's this gonna look like? The flow. At three, two, one, go, partner one is gonna complete his nine calorie bike. Three, two, one, he goes. He finishes his nine calories. He then goes over to the barbell. Partner two can even adjust the seat height. He can mess around with the bike, he can reset it. Partner one can take his time. He's got the entire remainder of the minute. He does his complex. One power clean, touch and go into his squat clean. He stands, it's a front squat. As long as that complex is completed, within that minute, partner two is now ready. At that one minute mark, he begins. He does his nine calorie bike. He gets off the bike. He completes his complex. That completes the first two rounds. So now that continues to go back and forth until they fail. And what we'll talk about next is what happens when one partner can no longer continue. Okay, so now we're gonna fast forward and we're gonna say we're starting minute 14, all right? Nate begins his bike. He finishes his bike, which is 11 calories. He goes to the barbell. He does his power clean. He goes to the squat clean, fails. He tags Brent. Brent then comes in. Brent begins the complex over from the power clean. Now, Brent goes back to the bike. Nate is now out. He can no longer participate in the EMOM. 
So Brent waits till the next minute begins, he begins. He finishes his bike, he has to go back to the bar, and now it becomes an imam with just Brent doing every round until he fails. So now fast forward three or four more rounds, Nate is out so he can no longer continue going back and forth. Brent is on his own, he's on an island. He's starting round 20, all right? Three, two, one, he begins. He gets off the bike. He goes to his complex. Fails his squat range. Now he does over the bar burpees in the remaining time. Three, two, one, and his time is over. So he got two over the bar burpees. His score would be 19 rounds completed, plus 13 calories in the bike, plus two. So his score would be 19 plus 15 reps. That's how we're gonna break down the, the scoring once we fail on that complex. There's no partial reps for the complex. The only partial reps are calories and burpee over the bar. One last piece, if Brent fails that complex, if he has time in that remaining minute, if he has time, he can attempt the entire complex again. So if he fails a squat clean, he can go back, he can hit his power clean, squat clean, and front squat. If he completes that in the minute, he's good, he gets credit for that round. If the minute hits and he's doing his front squat, and he has not stood up all the way, his hips aren't open, that complex does not count. His score would be completed rounds plus 13 calories in the bike. That's his score, okay? So the athletes have to decide, do they have time to make that complex, or will that one or two over the bar burpees be worth the difference? All right, guys, that is workout one of the throwdown. Make sure to get signed up. September 29th is the throwdown. Uh, I think we have about half the, half the teams are already filled, so it's gonna start to go really quick. If you have not signed up, get your partner, get signed up. The final workout will be announced uh, from CrossFit Cornelius uh, in the next four or five days. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments below or shoot me an email and we will see you guys in a few months.